What weighs 400 pounds? When it was alive, it probably would have weighed something on the order of 10,000 pounds. Is longer than a pickup truck. This was a female. Used to live in the Atlantic Ocean. What we'd call an adult, but not a very old adult. But now is surrounded by a sea of sand in Arizona. Minke whales in our area, meaning that the North Atlantic, get to be roughly maybe 25 to 28 feet long. This one is only 22 feet long, but how does a massive minke whale skeleton get from Bar Harbor, Maine to Bisbee, Arizona? It is loaded into a big U-Haul truck with a lot of people (laughs) and then secured very carefully so things don't break. And perhaps more importantly, why? When a kid walks into a museum and they look up and they see a big skeleton with none of the tissue on it. It's a garden for their imagination um, to grow and, and really flourish. And big skeletons grow big ideas and big imaginations for people, for especially for young kids. Captain Toby Stevenson, a teacher at the College of the Atlantic in Bar Harbor, speaks from experience. Going into museums and looking at dinosaur skeletons was uh, the most fascinating and marvelous thing for me as a child. He has a friend and former colleague at the Bisbee Science Lab in Arizona. Uh, We had a conversation uh, a couple of summers ago that they would like to have some marine mammal parts so they could try to inspire students in Bisbee about marine science and ecology. And she thought that, wow, bringing a whale to Arizona would be a real shocker to people and a real eye catcher. It was fate. This skeleton, formerly housed at the now defunct Bar Harbor Whale Museum, had been looking for a home. It took us three days. In November, Toby, along with my daughter, who is 13, helped me, traveled across the country to make possibly the largest delivery of his life. Oh, she loved it. She had so much fun. She loves whales. She loves working, you know, with her hands. Toby and his daughter installed the skeleton with the help of Arizona students. There were uh, certainly some repairs that had to happen. Uh, Driving a, a skeleton across the country, there's a lot of shaking and rattling on some of the highways. While they repaired ribs... Toby taught. We had a whole team of people there to help sort of get their hands dirty. And we could talk about anatomy as we went. So it was a great learning experience for for lots of the, uh, the volunteers and students at the Bisbee Science Lab and for some of the staff as well. What do we know about this minke whale and how it lived? Right. So this minke whale is a baleen whale and they're filter feeders and It was entangled in fishing gear back in the 1980s and drowned. They don't actually drown because water doesn't go into their lungs, but they they suffocate um, underwater if they can't get back to the surface. They're mammals like we are, so they need to breathe air. It drifted ashore in a harp swell. Uh, Minke whales don't typically get entangled because they're pretty sleek animals. They don't have really huge flippers and they don't have lots of barnacles and uh, and other features that would sort of cause rope to get stuck on their bodies. It's now the only whale skeleton in the state of Arizona. What do kids from a landlocked state think when they see it? I think it excites them and really makes them scratch their heads a little bit, which is a good thing. <laughs> This whale might be a fish out of water on display in the sand, but her new home seems to suit her. For our youth to become inspired, um, things like whale skeletons are great seeds for that, to want to understand and learn about what's so wonderful about our world. Inspiring students far from the ocean. And the ocean still holds so many mysteries in it that we continue to sco- discover on a, almost on a daily basis. To think about the sea. Bringing in a big whale skeleton, a big marine mammal skeleton uh, for kids to look at and be and marvel at is, uh, is just an excellent tool to, uh, to inspire uh, learning. And it's a, it's a really fun thing to do while you're at it.